popcorn. It's like popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. <laughs> um, it's my voice speaking in your head because I love <laughs> so good. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another round of our 511 sessions. I'm so excited today to be joined by my good friend, Kayla. Kayla, say hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Ooh, I love that scrunchie on your wrist. Guys. <laughs> Thank you. Keeping it stylish, even in quarantine. <laughs> All right. So, Kayla, how this is going to work is I'm just going to ask you a series of random questions. And I just want you to answer just whatever the first thing that comes to your mind. Our interview is going to last exactly ish five minutes and 11 seconds. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the time, I'll get to say goodbye to all of our friends and uh, we can get to know you a little bit more. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Here we go. All right. Here is a very important question that we all must know. What is your favorite go to quarantine snack? Um, I would have to say popcorn. I don't know why, but for the past like three weeks now, like every single time, like I'm just laying down watching TV and all of a sudden I'm like popcorn. It's like popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. <laughs> um, it's my voice speaking in your head because I <laughs> so good. Do you put anything yeah. in particular on it? No, I no. pop it in the microwave. Mm, I, my favorite is if you make it over the stovetop. Anyways, it's real good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've been at home for quite some time. Tell us you probably have some things that are really fun about being home and maybe not so fun. So what are you really liking about being at home and what's maybe not your favorite thing? Um, my favorite thing about being at home is how to be like sleeping because I get to sleep in and I get to stay up. So I don't really have a bedtime or like time I have to wake up to do stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I like that I get to watch TV shows I never even knew existed. <laughs> <laughs> so that gives me time to like relax yeah and then it gives me time to like read so that's been fun cool and then do you have anything that's been not so fun about being at home um the schoolwork when my mom makes me do chores i don't like that um and then when me and my brother start arguing over like video games wow that sounds like a very typical household right there <laughs> 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 All right. Um, oh, so here's an important question too. If you had to make dinner for your entire family, what would you be making? I would make it's this one meal. I don't even know what it's called. It's um it's like these noodles and then it's like this type of seasoning and then it's cut up tomatoes and uh cucumbers and it's so good. It's my favorite meal. Mmm, that sounds good. Yeah. Do you do you serve it cold or is it hot? It's like because the noodles are hot. So it kind of makes it a little hot, but it's not too hot. Okay. So very, it sounds really good. Uh, yeah. All right. So in this time that you've had at home, hopefully you've had just some extra time to be listening to God, to spend some time with God. What would you say if someone said, hey, what has God been teaching you in this time? What would you say? I would say that he's been teaching me to be patient with my life and that to know that he always provides for me during this hard time and that he's with me. Mm, that is good. You know, I think that patience is a really big thing and not just, yeah. I think what you said, like being patient with yourself and being patient with your own life and the pace um, of life that we've had, it's just slowed down yeah. so much. And I think it's been a good thing in a lot of ways for a lot of us. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, and then let's say, you know, someone is watching this video and they're having a rough day. Maybe they're just feeling discouraged, not sleeping well, stressed about school. What would you say to someone to encourage them? I would say um, keep your head up and know that God is with you and that it will get through this and it will end. Yes. That's really important to remember that. Okay. So this is also really important. I need to know what is the first thing you are going to do when you are free from your home? Um, the first thing I would like to do is have a redo birthday party. I would love to do that. And then I would love to get back to playing softball because I haven't like, like hit a ball in like a month. Oh, that's such a long time. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then 
Is there a particular sport? You know, I know obviously you're into sports and there's no sports on TV. Yeah. What sport are you looking forward to watching once it comes back? Definitely baseball. Okay. That's yeah. going to be really awesome. Yeah. And if you had to go to a restaurant, any restaurant of your choice, what restaurant would you choose to go to? At this moment in time, I would choose Logan's because they don't, they're closed because they filed for bankruptcy. So I'm really missing my chicken tenders and my apple, cinnamon apples and fries and the rolls. Um, you know what? My kids love Logan's because they love to open up, you know, how they give you like the raw peanuts. Yeah. And you get to like break them and throw them on yeah. the floor. That is like my kids all time <laughs> favorite thing. So it's like, what restaurant do you want to go to? And they're like, Logan's. I'm like, you don't even want to eat the food there. You just want to be able to throw stuff on the floor, watch people step on it. But yeah. I mean, I can't really blame them because I'm a grown adult and I also like to do the same thing. So, yeah. Well, this has been really awesome, Kayla, and we are running out of time. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was just so good to hear from you and um, get to know a little bit more about you. So why don't you sign off, say goodbye to all of our friends that are watching this. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. We will see you next time.